While most of us fret about an extra kilo or two once in a while, for some, their struggle with weight is in an entirely different league. Extremely heavy and overweight individuals have appeared throughout history. That said, over the past century, there has been a significant increase in public interest surrounding hugely obese people. So, today I'm going to tell you about 10 heaviest people in the world. 1. Paul Mason Paul Mason was once considered the world's fattest man, weighing in at a shocking 444.5 kg. He used to consume 20,000 calories a day, which is 10 times what a normal man consumes. He said he knew it was killing him, but he could not stop. It started when he suffered a heartbreak in his 20s at the time of his father's death and the deterioration of his mother's health. Jobless, he still managed to spend a whopping $46,000 a year on food. He was told to undergo a gastric bypass or risk a certain death. After surgery, he went down to 181 kilograms. Now, he is looking to have the rolls of unsightly excess skin from the weight loss removed. 2. Manuel Uribe Born in 1965 in Monterrey, Nuevo Leon, Mexico, Manuel Uribe is known for having ballooned to the weight of six men. On a diet of tacos and pizzas, he reached a peak weight of around 597 kilograms, and was bed-bound since 2001. His mother looked after his every need, but, he aspired to one day leave the room and venture outside into the world. When he was growing up, Manuel said he was normal. He was born, he weighed a very average 7.5 pounds. He always had a big appetite, but, it wasn't until he hit his 20s, when his problems began. In 1927, he got married and moved to the US for work. When he left, his weight was 127 kilograms. He said life in the US was very sedentary. He only moved from his home to his desk, where he sat at his desk the whole day. Combined with the fast food diet of the US, his weight ballooned 249 kilograms. He began developing a growth on his right thigh, restricting his movement. 3. Donna Simpson Donna Simpson, 55, is an American woman who in 2008 announced that she wanted to become one of the world's heaviest women. Her ideal weight was 450 kilograms, and she set up a website where fans paid to watch her eat. In 2008, she weighed 290 kilograms, but, her weight went down to 273 kilograms in 2010. In 2010, she won the dubious honor of Guinness World Record holder for the heaviest woman to give birth, when she had a baby named Jacqueline via cesarean section. The birth of the baby required a team of 30 doctors. She now has a son and daughter with her partner, Philippi Guamba, whom she met on an online chat room for overweight women. In August 2011, Simpson finally decided to go on a diet to decrease her weight to 170 kilograms, as she said she wanted to be more self-sufficient and do a better job of raising her children. 4. Robert Earl Hughes The late Robert Earl Hughes was during his lifetime, the heaviest human recorded in the history of the world. Born in 1958, his excessive weight was attributed to a malfunctioning pituitary gland, and he tipped the scales at 480 kilograms at his heaviest. At the age of 6 years, he weighed 92 kilograms, and at 10, he weighed 171 kilograms. When he passed away in 1926, he weighed over half a ton. He had contracted measles, which soon developed into uremia. He was 32 years old when he died. All his life a showman who appeared at carnivals and fairs, his coffin also made a statement. He was buried in a coffin the size of a piano case. 5. Michael Hebranko Michael Hebranko's story is amazing in that during his lifetime, he gained and lost over 1,360 kilograms, and gained a special mention by talk show host Oprah, as well as the attention of celebrity fitness coach Richard Simmons. At 34, his weight reached the peak of 498 kilograms. I have eaten 24 pork chops, 2 pounds of bacon, 3 dozen eggs at one sitting, he said. He eventually reached rock bottom and lost his will to live. Once, he put a gun into his mouth, and almost pulled the trigger. However, he instead wrote a letter to weight loss personality Richard Simmons. Richard then lost a world record setting weight loss of more than 317 kilograms in 19 months. However, in his celebratory meals following his astounding weight loss, he quickly shot back up to weighing almost 453 kilograms. His yo-yo weight loss story continued, and he had to be repeatedly hospitalized. He now resides in New York and weighs 550 pounds 249 kg. 6. Kenneth Brumley Kenneth Brumley gained the attention of the world, when he appeared in Channel 4 Body Shock documentary, Half Ton Dad. 
A father of four, he weighed almost 468 kilograms and had been bed-bound for four years. He was later accepted as a gastric bypass patient at the Renaissance Hospital in Houston, Texas. However, to get him out of the house to the hospital, a fire crew had to demolish a wall to pull him out. His first step in his treatment was to restrict him to a diet of 1,200 calories a day. On the diet, he lost 76 kilograms in 40 days. Doctors had to do the gastric bypass in stages, in addition to removing 18 kilograms tumors from between his legs. Each surgical removal lasted about five hours. By the end of the documentary, he was able to stand on his own two feet, even if only for a few seconds. 7. Myra Rosales Myra Rosales made headline when she was accused of murdering her sister's son, but walked free when the court decided that she was too big to kill. Rosales, 31, from Texas said her defense was that she could not even have lifted her arm to strike her nephew, being as fat as she was. Two-year-old Aliso Jr. died in 2008, and 495 kilograms Rosales claimed she caused his death when she fell onto him. However, investigations revealed that his death was due to a blow to the head. Rosales then confessed that she had invented the story to protect her sister Jamie, whom she said had hit the boy on the head with a hairbrush several times earlier in the day. Jamie later pleaded guilty to causing injury to a child, and was sentenced to 15 years in prison. The stress of the events caused Rosales' health to deteriorate to the point that she had to be hospitalized. She said she began retaining so much water in her legs, that her skin stretched and developed sores, causing her immense pain. She has suffered chronic skin infections caused by the multiple folds of fat around her body. Doctors have attempted to treat her by removing much of the fat and liters of fluid from her body. 8. Terry Smith Diet or die? This was what mother of one Terry Smith was told when doctors found out she weighed a hefty 317 kilograms. Suffering from intense headaches and needing a brain scan, she was too huge to fit into an MRI machine. Bedbound for at least three years, the 49-year-old woman required the assistance of her husband Myron and her eldest daughter Nadja, 30 to do anything. Smith said she had always been large. At age 7, she weighed almost 51 kg. She said she grew up on soul food and never thought twice about it, as it was everybody was doing. We never watched what we ate at all and we didn't know what was healthy and what wasn't, she told the Daily Mail UK. When she turned 32, she developed severe arthritis in her knees and couldn't walk for more than a few steps, causing the weight to pile on. In addition, after her diuretic medication was changed, she gained a whopping 41 kilograms in 30 days. Smith is now embarking on a weight loss regimen of a healthy diet and exercise, in a bid to qualify for gastric bypass. 9. John Brower Minnick John Brower Minnick lived from 1941 to 1983, and weighed probably more than 635 kg. It took 13 people just to roll him over in bed, and he suffered from massive edema, the collection of fluid in the body's tissues. The edema is suffered by many obese people, and at Minnick's peak, his body retained at least 408 kg of fluid. He had spent a better part of his life battling weight, having been heavy all his life. In 1963, he was 317 kg. In 1966, he was 442 kg. He was hospitalized at age 37, due to cardiac and respiratory failure, and was discharged from the hospital after 16 months on a strict diet of 1,200 calories per day. He passed away on September 10, weighing 362 kilograms, and leaving behind two children by his 50 kilograms wife Jeanette. The couple had reportedly won a world record for the greatest disparity in weight between husband and wife. 10. Khalid bin Mohsen Khalid bin Mohsen is a Saudi Arabian man, who was discovered in August 2013 to be the heaviest living person, and the second heaviest person in recorded history. Khalid weighed 610 kilograms, just behind John Brower Minnick. In addition, he had the highest BMI ever recorded at 204. He shed 320 kilograms in six months as a result of medical therapy, which was more than half of his body weight at the time. So, some of these people are not the ones who deliberately wanted to be the heaviest. It is caused by various diseases and eating habits. But, some people want to be the heaviest people. So what do you want? To be the heaviest person in the world? What do you think?